Lopez decade era has real impact on changes in the structure or paradigm of education system, which required the people to thinking and acting beyond national borders. And since that, education is expected to be a significant medium of dissemination values of peace and tolerance in the midst of culture and religion diversity, which are currently competing each other to show which one is the most influential. Conforming to the research that was conducted by UNESCO in 2012, it stated if Indonesia's literacy was only 0.001, or that means in each 1,000 people, there is only one person who has intention to read paper book which contains locally or globally information. And it seems like another research sounds the same, since the research conducted by Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, about Program for International Student Assessment that stated if Indonesia's value for PIAs in 2015 ranked as the least in, or 61 of 70 nations. We know, in enhancing superior character is not only measured by the cognitive aspect, but also their affective aspect. In this case, it related to Indonesian students' tolerance of religion diversity since because here in Indonesia, we are living among all five acknowledged religions. Based on the research that was conducted by Satara Institute in 2016 about Indonesian students' tolerance of religion diversity for state high school students in Jakarta and Bandung, stated if Indonesian students only gave their 61.6% of their tolerancy to another religion, while there was 1% of the sample stated if they support extremist organizations like ISIS, and 0.4% of the sample stated if they support terrorism action. Even the number is a very small, but can you imagine what will happen with Indonesia's future if we have our next generations are having the intention to distract this nation? We really have no time for delay. We need to address this issue as soon as possible. As a future educator and part of this nation, I am Ilham Shah Maulana, the representative of Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia, to join Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2017, try to address that issue by internalizing values of global citizenship education strategy in creating students with superior characters through GZ Center based on local wisdom. Prior to expanding the program, yet firstly, I would like to explain about Global Citizenship Education Strategy. Fortunately, in 2014, UNESCO made a new learning strategy that called as Global Citizenship Education. Basically, Global Citizenship Education aims to empower learners to assume active roles, to face and resolve global challenges, and to become proactive contributors to a more peaceful, tolerant, inclusive, and secure world. This it can help us learn to live together in peace. It helps learners think critically, understand interconnection between the local and the global. I internalize its values to be implemented in high school due to regarding to the issue that I bring into my paper. Due to the program aims to make the students to be global citizens, that is why to reinforce the student in facing global challenges, therefore I use local wisdom as the main basis, as basically to make Indonesian students to be globally sound nations, but still proud to be Indonesian. Literally, it is a program which internalizing values that content on global citizenship education strategy with the local wisdom as the main basis. Basically, it is a building consists of four programs such as World Library, Traditional Game Center, Religion and Ethnic Center, and Language and FGD Center, where each program has its own effect in enhancing global competence for students. Then how its potential? Through Ministry of Education and Culture, Republic of Indonesia, as an institution dealing with Indonesian education and cultural issues, make a new policy on the implementation of global citizenship education learning strategies by UNESCO in the national curriculum. The government has absolutely no need to change the contents of the curriculum because the national curriculum has been revised in such a way as to be adapted to the needs of the times. However, this policy only covers the application of GZ learning strategies to each learning material. It's potential in addressing problems, so it can be creating students with superior characters like having global competencies but still acting. As in from the model, it's still tenacious standing consciously to create students with superior character. As the innovative strategy to address about the issue that I bring into my paper, program that I make certainly has multiplayer benefits effects, like appearing performance of international awareness, 
and then appearing performance of appreciation of cultural and religion diversity, and then treating proficiency in foreign languages, and appearing performance of competitive skills. That all turn up sustainable events. Then all in all, Jesus Center based on local wisdom can be an innovative strategy learning to address this issue on how to create students with superior characters. Since we are living in the globalization era, then we need to reinforce ourselves to be thinking globally but still acting locally. Not only that, Jesus Center can be a platform to promote values of peace and tolerance so we can live together peacefully. Thank you.